Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to design a sheet metal part in the context of the assembly. The first thing we're going to do is come in here and create a flat piece of sheet metal a certain value above the electrical components. This is going to be the ceiling of our part. Because we're designing in the context of the assembly, we're going to borrow the background information to make sure our part fits. I'm going to offset this profile a half an inch in which to create this sheet metal tab. Notice it's asking us for a material thickness, and this material thickness is being pulled from the template, meaning we're going to have a common material thickness and a default bend radius because we are talking about sheet metal. Here we're going to create a profile in which we're going to sweep around this part, which is going to be our sidewalls. I'm going to go ahead and automatically dimension this and drive some of these values very quickly. Notice just by selecting these dimensions, we're going to get the feedback from the lines that we desire. As we keep driving this, you'll notice that down at the bottom, if I type in 12.7 millimeters, it will go ahead and convert that to a half an inch on the fly because we are using inches in the file. We're going to take that profile and, like I said, sweep that around and just one single click, it's going to go ahead and wrap that around the entire model. It's also going to miter those edges where it has to wrap and transition around those sharp corners. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and create a cutout to create a void in which we can use this plug as you see here on the screen. The next thing we're going to do if there's any feature, um, deformation feature, any kind of drawn cutout for example that we use over and over again, we can put those in the library and just drag and drop the reuse. Finally we're going to create a flat pattern with just two clicks and you'll see what it would take to manufacture this part. There's the raw sheet size you'll see. Also for free we get a bend table showing how this part was modeled and we could also reorder this if we needed to for desired results for how this would be manufactured. Finally we want to throw this on a drawing and with a couple clicks we can go ahead and retrieve that bend table that we saw there in the modeling environment. So in this video we took a look at creating a sheet metal part in the context of the assembly, getting the flat pattern information and throwing that on a drawing file. 